The Port of Seattle is the gateway to over 130 global destinations, and the Port of Seattle is a world leader in moving people and cargo across the country and around the globe. Many of you may know that the port owns and operates facilities and property ranging from a half acre park to one of the largest airports and container terminals on the west coast. The Port of Seattle owns and operates the Seattle Tacoma International Airport, Fisherman's Terminal, two cruise ship terminals, a grain terminal, marine cargo terminals, and public marinas. And as many of you know, the Port of Seattle is one of the Pacific Northwest's leading economic engines. It generates over 20, 216,000 jobs and $894 million in state and local taxes. The Port of Seattle also employs more people than Boeing and Microsoft combined. More than 19,000 employees from 360 different companies work at the Seattle Tacoma International Airport, making it among the largest job sites in King County. But did you know that the Port of Seattle was born out of the very premise of the democratic process? The Port of Seattle exists because it was the will of the people. The Port of Seattle was founded in 1911 by a vote of the people. The people voted to create the Port of Seattle because people recognized the importance in managing the amazing assets of our region. People wanted commerce and the movement of goods and people to operate in a way that was profitable, equitable, and accountable. Over time, people also wanted the port to operate in equ equitable and an envir environmentally sustainable manner. People wanted the Port of Seattle to promote economic opportunities and the quality of life in our region. And people wanted oversight. There are five port commissioners. Each is elected by the people. Port commissioners are responsible for overseeing the operations of the Port of Seattle, which include the airport and most of the shipping and receiving operations in our state. The commissioners can purchase land, levy property taxes, and issue bonds. The role of the port commissioner is important because their decisions impact hundreds of thousands of families and their economic stability. Jesse Tam is up for this important role because the people want someone like Jesse Tam for port commissioner. He is experienced, he is honest, and he cares about the quality of life for all of our King County residents. Jesse values and understands the importance of equity. He understands that people of color and communities of color have not always been treated fairly. And Jesse wants to change that, and our people want that too. Jesse is collaborative. He makes room at the table for different perspectives and works hard to identify common goals and objectives. Jesse values transparency because he knows that transparency builds trust. Jesse is loyal and hardworking. He is committed to serving all of our King County communities. And I can think of no one who will work harder for the people of King County than Jesse Tam. Yeah. Like Jesse, I am no stranger to hard work and public service. And I think I mentioned to some of you that this is my sixth event in six days. And this is on top of my day job. And I spent the better part of the day with my friends in Belltown, picking up trash and painting out graffiti. And I really want to be at home with my partner, not dressed up, not pretending to be polished, not missing the podium. <laughs> but I am here tonight. I am here tonight because it's important to me here, to me, to be here for Jesse. Because I believe in Jesse, and I think you should too. I think the people of King County should believe in Jesse and elect him to serve as our next Port Commissioner. Please give it up for Jesse Tam. Jesse's run for the Port of Seattle Commission. Now, 
if you were putting together the resume of a perfect court commissioner, what, what would you put on it? Well, Jesse is an international banking expert. He has more than two decades of, of experience. Jesse is a business founder. Um, and Jesse is a trade consultant. People come to Jesse for his knowledge of trade and international finance. Uh, Jesse has also served his, his community. He has served uh, the, uh, the, the jurisdiction where he lives as a uh, parks commissioner for the city of, of Newcastle. Jesse, um, if you were at the um, Chinese Chamber of Commerce banquet the, the, the other night, you probably saw Jesse standing on stage with the other past presidents of, of the chamber. Um, and uh, Jesse also is a uh, former district governor of Rotary District 5030, a very prominent Rotary District um, in this, this region and, and this country. Um, Jesse also works for our future by working with young people. Um, he is a longtime mentor for business students at the Albers School of Business at Seattle University. Uh, go Red Hawks, I am a Seattle University alum. Uh, but also with, um, he, he, he has been a key um, advisor for business programs at the University of Washington and Boise State. Uh, and Jesse has pledged um, to lead as a port commissioner with accountability and transparency, which the port has maybe not always been great at. So. Jesse is all about trade, he's all about jobs, he's all about economic development. And Jesse Tam has the skills and the experience and the enthusiasm to be a great port commissioner. So please join me in supporting Jesse Tam. Woman prosecutors with Asian background in this country. Truly a great story uh, for America. We have a future if we work hard enough for it. James, thank you so much for your kind words. I know you're not here as a politician, but you always been a friend, you know, joining all the events in the community. You make us proud of who we are. Thank you. I, I promise you, I'm not going to take serious speech tonight, okay? I want to make it fun tonight. Because if I talk for 10 hours, you're all going to be sleeping. So I'm going to keep it really, really short, okay? I'm just going to tell you who I am, you know, in a very, very personal way, okay? I came to the country as a teenager. There's no money in my pocket. In fact, I was so lost in San Francisco, Chinatown, I didn't know where I was supposed to be going. So, lucky in love, I found my way to the Greyhound bus, boom, I ended up in Idaho. Next <laughs> Not Seattle, Idaho, I was in Idaho. And I had to learn everything about potato farming. I had to learn about cattle feeding. I had to learn everything to pay for my college. But America has a way to start people, you know, it's like a movie. I started in a mail room, the first job. And I, I write to my mom, I'm going to be a banker. But I can tell her I was in a mail room in the basement. <laughs> making uh, something like a and a half an hour. But this country gave us opportunity. 22 years later, I was a CEO of a bank I formed in downtown Seattle. And since then, I have helped a lot of small businesses. And the name of the bank is tied to the immigrants, the international community around here. The diversity we have here in this country is getting bigger and bigger and more and more important at the foundation of this country. 
And some people call that foreigner. Kim Congren taught me about a term called perpetual foreigner. It scared me to death. Thank you. I see stuck on my mind, you know, I have nightmare of that term, perpetual foreigner. No way. This is our country, this is America. We want the best to lead, we want the best to run the country, so we have a chance to build a strong country we are all proud of for generations. <laughs> At first, you know, I still don't know everything. I'm learning as much as I can, just like what I learned in you know, college year, just like what I learned when I was a banker. Now I'm learning to become a politician. Well, I thought politician, you just have a good resume. You got a job, right? Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they, don't, they don't elect you because you have a nice resume. They definitely not elect you because you have a good smile. I do have a good smile sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> so I, I found out the election is not as simple as it is. There's a lot of, lot of different things happening behind the scenes. I'm learning every day. All morning long, I was like an emotional roller coaster. You know the roller coaster? Oh, yeah. I was laughing, I was crying, oh, looking good. at my computer Zoom meeting. Good thing I didn't kill my computer. I was so <laughs> angry. <laughs> but one thing though, it gave me a confidence to go forward because I have friends like you. Yes. And you are the voters. You are the one that run this country. You are the one that's gonna work for. Okay? I work for you as a public official, public servant. As I have done for 38 years in Rotary, as I have done 32 years in as a college mentor for Seattle U, I always step up to help. Because if my neighbor, my communities, my family do well, you buy dinner. I don't have to buy dinner. So it's like, my kids now or not, they buy dinner. I raise them. So let's be, let's be successful together, OK? Last thing I just want to, this may be the only part I'm going to be very serious about why I'm running. The port has a major revenue coming in this area for King County. You, every one of them, if I'm not wrong, are all living in King County. At the end of last year, there was $83 million tax levy, and none of you knew about that. Part of your tax for your home gone to the port. Well, with the port are generating a billion dollar coming in, that money will not well, it made me very upset as a banker. I want to make sure we have accountability going forward. I want to make sure they have transparency. Don't hide a book until two years later. It's the other time, tell me the story I didn't want to know. Okay? If you read the news, you know what I'm talking about. The cost overrun, airport expansion, the transparency issues of lacking of telling the truth about what has transpired, the excuses they made about the environmental cleanup, the reason they have not been able to divide the money to all. They didn't tell you that because they have issues about fiscal responsibility. And fiscal responsibility and our social responsibility is side by side. If they spend the money, you don't get the money for your social well-being in this country. If they spend the money and pay for the East Coast Construction Company, you don't have money to clean up the water around here. And you don't have the money for school either. So, uh, I'm not a magician. I don't know everything. But I'm going there and look what's good. You start watching every dollar in the port just like what I had put on my whole entire year. So I retired now I'm comfortable. I want a port in the future, be able to take care of things and money distribute all over King County just like the way they should be. So that's my mission. Very simple, very basic, very straightforward. And uh, if I do win, um, in 112 years, I will be the first 
Chinese Americans to serve on the port commission in 112 years. And when China right now is the biggest trading partner, roughly about 85% of trade. And we need to build our relationship globally. Everybody can be friends with our you. We know how to manage the relationship. Tonight, I want you to enjoy it. We're going to have good food. We're going to have fantastic entertainment. I don't know what it is yet because I don't dance. <laughs> <laughs> this show coming, and we have I think we have drawing as well. So have a good time. Thank you very much, and I hope you will come to the next show. The man and the candidate Jesse Tan. But um, what I wanted to say is um, is um, you know it's serious. Uh, this is a serious situation. So you heard from Lisa about what the port is and what it can do for communities. You heard from James a little bit about Jesse's background, right? As a business person, as a trade, uh, knowing trade, and as a banker. Then you heard from Jesse himself about his background uh, and why he wants to run. Well, I'm here to add some seriousness to what does this mean and what will it take to get Jesse into the port of Seattle. So first of all, um, people talked about uh, the value that the port has economically here in, uh, in King County and Pacific Northwest. Well, I'm here to tell you that um, if you've read the news lately, and I think Jesse referred to it earlier, there's some issues at the port of Seattle that really impacts their ability to do good business. So, you know, even though this is a public uh, organization, that's responsible for billions of dollars, billions of dollars that um, is paid for by the taxpayers. It has to be run with good responsibility and with good business sense. And there are a couple of issues that have come out recently that says that that is not the case. And so uh, when you take a look at some of those issues, and I don't need to get into any detail, the Port Commission is responsible for making sure that the management of the port does its business. Because if the port is not doing their business good, they are getting sued probably, they are getting a bad reputation, and they're not able to fully do what they're supposed to do as a public institution, uh, dealing with the economy of our region, 